in this video we introduce the concept of um, idempotent uh, matrix. So we call uh, idempotent uh, matrix a matrix that squared is equal to itself. Okay, so a first example of idempotent uh, matrices are the identity matrices. Okay, so if you pick the identity matrix, um, identity squared is equal to identity times identity, and that is equal to the identity. Okay, so the identity matrix is an idempotent matrix. Well, I think it's more or less obvious that uh, the the zero matrix, right? The zero matrix is zero times zero, so that, that would be zero. So the zero matrix is also an idempotent matrix. Okay. So you might get uh, the idea that only this sort of matrices are idempotent, but that's not the case. Sometimes you have very uh, surprising matrices that are idempotent. For instance, the matrix, the matrix 3 by 3, 2, minus 2, minus 4, minus 1, 3, 4, 1, minus 2, minus 3. Just try to perform uh, E squared and see what result do you get. It's obvious that you're going to get the same result, right? 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 1, 3, 4, 1 minus 2, minus 3, right? So this is, this E is an idempotent uh, matrix. Okay, now we are asked to show that if A times B uh, is A and B times A is B, that uh, means that A and B, they are both uh, idempotent. Okay, um, let us show that. So, we know that A is equal to AB, right? So, A being equal to AB means that uh, means that Look here, B is equal to BA because AB is equal to A and BA is equal to B. So I'm going to keep this A here and instead of B, I'm going to put BA. Okay. So now since uh, matrix multiplication is associative, I can do AB times A, right? Okay, but AB, uh, by hypothesis, AB is A. So this is equal to A times A, because AB is A, right? So this is A squared. So it is proved that A is equal to A squared. Um, so A is idempotent. Okay, well, we're going to do the same for B, right? And it's more or less obvious what is going to happen, right? We are going to write B here, and B, B is equal to BA by hypothesis, right? Now, I keep this B here, and I replace A, I replace A by AB, right? Uh, matrix multiplication is associative, right? So BA by hypothesis is B, so this will be B, okay? So what we have is B squared, so B is equal to B squared which transforms B in an idempotent matrix. Okay, so 
if AB is equal to A and BA is equal to B, that means that A and B, they are both uh, idempotent. Well, um, it's easy to show that um, the product of commutative idempotent matrices is idempotent, meaning if we have AB, okay, times AB, so this is a product of commutative uh, idempotent matrices. They are not only idempotent, but they are also commutative. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, matrix multiplication is associative. Right, so we can do this. Okay. And you can replace here B by BA and A by AB. So you will get BA times AB and but they are uh, idempotent. So here we have A times AB times B and this is associative so we can do a times A and B times B, right? So uh, this is the same as uh, since they are idempotent, right? A squared is A, B squared is B, so it's equal to AB. Okay, so the product of uh, commutative idempotent matrices is also idempotent.